second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by Ball Easy. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpads.com. From there, you can find this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it. And get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler at me to get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply. And today's reply is to that Los Air Jordans. And honestly, I like the concept of it, just didn't like the execution. He's pretty much comparing all of these chicks out here to Air Jordans, like pretty much how so many dudes are in line to try to get at these beautiful women and such out here, man. But once you cop you a pair of them, then you wear them motherfuckers out. As much as I don't like the ignorant nature of everybody out there trying to get these bullshit ass Jordans, I like the concept of making a song about it and comparing it to women. Now, but I feel the execution was poor because one, the production just wasn't fucking there. Two, Los has the ability to turn subpar production into hot songs and given that he had a pretty good concept here, I wouldn't have been surprised if this could have been dope, but he didn't do that, man. His flow delivery just wasn't on point to be able to do that. If you're going to turn a subpar beat into a good song, man, then you have to be on point 100% all the way and which he wasn't like that. Still, I do recommend people to go ahead and peep it on out just for the concept of it, man. But besides that, it's not a download or anything like that. After one or two listens, you'll probably be good. But anyway, on to Ask, Download Pass. And Hornor says that pretty much everything that Lupe does has a purpose and a point to it and shit. Like, and you know what? I'm okay with people being Lupe Fiasco fans. I'm a fan of Lupe Fiasco when he starts dropping good music. But... Come on, dude. There comes a point where dudes need to stop considering Lupe as this godlike figure that never can do no wrong. I mean, I understand you like Lupe, man, but ultimately this dick riding just looks so bad on your part, dude. Lupe does wrong a lot, and he does a lot of dumb shit to go along with saying a lot of dumb shit, too. And these are just quite honest facts, and if you can't accept that, man, then you need to take a good look at yourself. And Michael says, were we even listening to the same mixtape, man? This Trinidad James is the best tape to come out this year. Nah, bruh. And quite honestly, this shows that you haven't listened to a goddamn thing this year, my dude. Listen to Lupe's album. Listen to the Jim Benton EP. Listen to Loaded Lux's EP. Sadly, this new Lil Wayne mixtape, Sorry for the Wait 2, is better than this Trinidad James, man. And I say sadly because that was all instrumentals while this was original music. And I respect original music way more than I respect instrumentals. But the simple differential of fucking skills is obvious to see, man. It's definitely definitely time for you to open up your ears to other music that's going on if you think Trinidad James is the best so far, my dude. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.